Today we should take a look at the cloth mill from a bygone era. The factory was locked and bolted by Kurt Müller in 1961 and purchased in 1988 by the Rhineland Regional Authority Association. Over the next 15 years it was transformed into a museum. When we take a walk around the historic factory, the machines begin to whir and we can see at first hand how a piece of finished cloth is woven from loose strands of wool. Our first stop along the way is the willowing room. Here the wool batches are mixed and loosened by running them through the spikes of a carding machine and exposing them to the air. The wool is then taken in large sacks to the dyeing shop next door. For centuries this was always the domain of the factory owner, for the value of the cloth is crucially dependent on the quality of the dye. Here the cloth is dyed, spun around and dried. To make sure that everyone knew what to do, Kurt Müller personally scribbled the recipes for the dyes on the door with a piece of chalk or on the wall with a pencil. Here we can experience a carding machine in action. With the aid of countless small hooks fitted to rollers, the wool fibers are straightened out into parallel lines or combed. In several steps, the wool is gradually refined into a pile. This is then divided into fine strips and rolled into roving ready for spinning. The spinning shop. In the spinning shop, the roving is pulled and twisted into the resonant yarn by these spinning moves. The spinning process can be divided into three phases. First, the frame runs towards us, and in doing so, it stretches the wool into preliminary yarn. In the second phase, the spindles rotate and twist the thread. In the third phase, the frame travels back simultaneously, winding up a new thread. In the weaving preparation shop, the warp yarn is prepared for weaving. Depending on the desired appearance of the final cloth, two to four thousand threads of yarn are wound into large coils on the beaming machine. The finished warp beam is now taken to the weaving shop. the weaving shop. First 16, later 8 weaving looms now weave the yarn into broad bands of cloth, approximately 30 meters long and 1.43 meters wide. The shuttles move back and forth at the speed of about 10 meters a second, or 36 kilometers an hour. They can produce around 80 wefts a minute.
opposite the factory is the office and the storage rooms. At the heart of the office is the massive two-sided high desk. This is where Kuchtmüller ran the factory. Here we can still find original rolls of fabric. Barrels. Machine parts. And document files. The high point of the tour is a view of the finely preserved 80 horsepower steam engine in action. The steam engine drives all the machines in the factory by means of a central transmission. The steam engine can be seen in action on every second Sunday afternoon in the month, the so-called Steam Sunday. <laughs> 